state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of the state. Today's broadcast. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia addressed a letter to the President of the Russian Federation. More than 28,000 children are deprived of the right of education in Artsakh due to the Baku aggression. Russian peacekeepers in Artsakh continue to stay in their area of responsibility. Macron is ready to help achieve settlement of situation in Artsakh. Satellite images prove the use of phosphorus by Azerbaijan. Large number of historical items confiscated in Adana and Biragan. System of a Down has raised more than $600,000 for Artsakh. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenia Kabramian, addressed a letter to the President of the Russian Federation in connection with a recent statement signed by Putin, Aliyev Pashinyan. In the letter, President Abramian referred to the current situation, Russia's role in resolving the issue, and the deployment of Russian peacekeepers. The President singled out the unbreakable will of the Armenian people and the Armenian army. Amena Kabramian stressed the essential role of Russia in this complicated issue, inherited from the beginning of 20th century. The Artsakh Human Rights Defender has published an extraordinary report on the violation of children's rights due to the Azerbaijan's aggression against the Artsakh Republic. The report presents the violations of children's rights registered during the war unleashed by Azerbaijan against the people of Artsakh from September 27 to November 9. According to Human Rights Defender's Office of Artsakh, since the first day of aggression, the Azerbaijani armed forces have attacked deliberately and non discriminatory on civilian objects, residential buildings, and infrastructure in about 170 communities of Artsakh. At least 50 people were killed and at least 163 were injured in Artsakh, including one child was killed and nine were injured. According to the preliminary data, at least 71 schools and 14 kindergartens were damaged due to the Azerbaijan aggression in Artsakh. More than 28,000 school-aged children were deprived of the right of education. The main forces of the Russian peacekeeping contingent in Artsakh continue to stay in their area of responsibility, entering Stepanakert and the leading units reaching Sushi began to deploy observation posts. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Major General Igor Konashenkov told reporters yesterday. According to him, peacekeeping units have taken control of Lachin Corridor and a section of Lachin Road, creating six temporary checkpoints. According to TASS news agency, Konashenkov added that the Russian peacekeepers who arrived in Armenia are moving to Goris. The Russian delegation visited Turkey to discuss the establishment of a joint ceasefire monitoring center in Artsakh. 1,960 Russian peacekeepers are stationed in the Karabakh conflict zone, according to a statement signed by the leaders of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia on November 9. French President Emmanuel Macron had a telephone conversation with Armenian Prime Minister Nicole Pashinyan. During the conversation, the French leader express readiness to contribute to achieving a long-term settlement of the situation in Artsakh and a just settlement for all parties of the conflict zone. The president expressed satisfaction with the cessation of hostilities, reminded of his friendship with Armenia and its people, as well as his readiness to find a just, long-term and acceptable political solution for all parties in Artsakh, said a statement by the Office of the French Leader Tess reported. Digital Forensic Research Lab has published an article about Azerbaijan's use of banned white phosphorus munitions in Artsakh during the recent war, stating that satellite images from the last week of fighting shows the environmental destruction caused to the forest in Nagorno-Karabakh. This is reported by Arman Press. In early November, videos showing banned white phosphorus munitions on Armenian-controlled areas in Artsakh started appearing on Twitter and other social media outlets. The imagery did not attract significant attention from the international media or international environmental conservation organizations. As a result of Azerbaijan's use of white phosphorus weapons on the forest of Artsakh, the environment has been destroyed. As a result of operative investigative smuggling of historical values in the city of Adana, Western Armenia, 2,428 items belonging to the ancient Roman and Byzantine periods were confiscated. Two suspects were detained. 536 pieces of historical items were confiscated during the operation in Solhan province of Burakan. Coins make up a large number of items confiscated as a result of operations, as well as various items. System of a Down have raised $600,000 in ad 
for Artsakh Rolling Stone report. The group reunited earlier this month to record two new songs to raise awareness about the humanitarian crisis caused by the recent Azerbaijani war in Artsakh. We are thankful for your incredible support of our campaign for the people of Artsakh and for helping us raise over $600,000 in donations to provide for those in dire need via the Armenian Fund. Because of you, we will be able to help displaced civilians, young and old who are affected by the war crimes inflicted upon Artsakh by Azerbaijan and Turkey, the group said in a statement. Now let us represent your attention a song by Sarmos Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.